Lesson number one, what is hydroponics? One of the branches of agriculture that has piqued the interest of gardening enthusiasts and hobbyists is known as hydroponics. To simplify is the practice of growing various species of plants without using soil. In the absence of a dirt medium, a water solution that contains the nutrients plants need is put in place. Since plants require nutrients to grow, all the essentials are dissolved in water so that the roots can absorb what they need. Such systems are ideal in settings wherein there is limited space for the typical setup of growing plants on pots filled with nutrient-rich soil. The origin of the term hydroponics can be traced back to the Greek word of water, hydros, and work, ponos. The practice is becoming popular because of the decline in the availability of land for food production. Hydro systems are relevant today because the population growth rate continues to increase and the available land for planting remains limited, especially with the burgeoning need for residential and commercial infrastructure. Now, there are thousands of pocket gardens on rooftops and growing environments under the ground that are successful in growing plants which are then used for food. Hydroponics is the growing of plants in a liquid nutrient solution with or without the use of artificial media. Commonly used mediums include expanded clay, coir, perlite, vermiculite, brick shards, polystyrene packing peanuts and food and wood fiber. Hydroponics has been recognized as a viable method of producing vegetables, tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers and peppers, as well as ornamental crops such as herbs, roses, freesia and foliage plants. Due to the ban of methyl bromide in soil culture, the demand of hydroponically grown products has rapidly increased in the last few years. The roots may be flooded with the nutrient solution or suspended in it. Other use systems wherein the roots are misted with a solution. Because of hydroponics indoor gardens can now thrive in locations where the condition of the soil or the climate is inhospitable to growing plants. People and organizations that are intent on raising their own crops and living a more sustainable existence now have access to this kind of technology. Studies have shown that a general hydroponics environment can produce even higher yields than traditional methods of growing crops. Let's talk about available resources. In order to get started, it is necessary to have a hydroponics kit from a dependable supplier. A regular multiplying kit from a local source is compact and not that versatile, but it fulfills the basic requirements. There are better and more versatile hydro systems available from companies that are pioneers and specialists in the niche. General hydro supplies usually include a growing tent, inline fans, filters and lightning equipment. Online stores that offer a complete array of hydroponic equipment make it easy for gardeners and farmers to make inquiries about hydro system, purchase equipment and ask for pertinent advice. For millennia, traditional farming systems have proven to be reliable and dependable methods of producing food for the human race. However, now that agriculture faces significant challenges due to lack of space and climate change, hydroponics can perhaps fill in the gaps in food production. After all, hydro systems allow people to grow various species of plants in locations that are not possible with traditional planting methods. Which are the advantages? Growing with hydroponics comes with many advantages, the biggest of which is greatly increased rate of growth in your plants. With the proper setup, your plants will mature up to 25% faster and produce up to 30% more the same plants grown in soil. Your plants will grow bigger and faster because they will not have to work as hard to obtain nutrients. Even a small root system will provide the plant exactly what it needs, so the plant will focus more on growing upstairs instead of expanding the root system downstairs. All of this is possible through careful control of your nutrient solution and pH levels. 
A hydroponic system will also use less water than soil-based plants because the system is enclosed, which results in less evaporation. Believe it or not, hydroponics is better for the environment because it reduces waste and pollution from soil runoff. It can be used in place when in when, where in-ground agriculture or gardening is not possible, for example, dry desert areas or cold climate regions. More complete control of nutrient content, pH and growing environment. Lower water and nutrient cost associated with water and nutrient recycling. Faster growth due to more available oxygen in root area. Elimination or reduction of soil-related insects, fungi and bacteria much higher crop yields, no weeding or cultivation required. Some crops, such as lettuce and strawberries, can be lifted from ground level to a much better height for planting, cultivation and harvesting. This gives much better working conditions and hence lowers labor cost. Crop rotation following is not necessary. Transplant shock is reduced. Now, which are disadvantages? Despite the fact that the hydroponic system has so many advantages, there are actually a few disadvantages as well. The biggest factor for most people is that a quality hydroponic system of any size will cost more than its soil counterpart. Then again, dirt isn't exactly expensive and you get what you pay for. A large-scale hydroponic system can take a lot of time to set up if you are not the most experienced grower. Plus, managing your hydroponics system will take a lot of time as well. You will have to monitor and balance your pH and nutrient levels on a daily basis. The greatest risk with a hydroponic system is that something like a pump failure can kill off your plants within hours, depending on the size of your system. They can die quickly because the growing medium can't store water like soil can so the plants are dependent on a fresh supply of water.